way he slides in the DMs. He slides in the DMs. He slides in the DMs. He slides in my DMs. beautiful people how's it going as always I hope you guys are doing fantastic so of course you already saw the title of this video so you know this is going to be another story time all right if you haven't seen my last story time definitely make sure you check it out I'll link it down below and I'll try to insert it up here with that little box that pops up so before we hop into the story time I know someone may ask this is a wig um, I will be giving you the details in a few days okay a video is recorded for this it's coming just give me a few more days um, but you know, I'll probably put the name in the information box if you really want to know. And hopefully you can't hear my fan in the background. If you do, I'm sorry, but it's super hot in here, so we're going to keep that on. But anywho, so this story is going to be about the time I met this crazy mofo on Instagram, okay? Ladies and gents, be careful who y'all meet out here, okay? People is crazy. Motherfuckers is crazy, okay? <laughs> and just a quick side note, I do apologize if you notice I'm cursing throughout this video, okay? Um, you know, I try to keep this channel pretty PG, but if you know me, you know, you know. <laughs> My mouth could be a little <laughs> extra, so, uh, yeah. There is gonna be a little segment in here where uh, there is gonna be quite a few curse words so I will forewarn you when that happens but yeah just in case you got any kitties watching me okay you might want to put them to bed I right, so boom I'm on Instagram you know what I'm saying doing what I do trying to look cute posting my selfies or posting my outfits of the day so I know I have majority of female followers which is awesome okay ain't nobody complaining because ladies we run this we run this don't you ever forget it all right y'all my road dogs my peoples I love y'all to death y'all show me bad love <laughs> I appreciate that you don't say it but you know when I do get a male follower I kind of take notice because it's not that many I mean there's a few but you know it ain't a lot so and I think it's like one or two who said they watch my actual YouTube channel so if you watching what's up boo you know who you are you know what I'm saying or maybe you don't I think you do but hey anyway so one day I get a follower pop up in my notifications so I'm like let me go investigate. I see it's a dude. So I'm like, who is? Who is this? So I go to click on the profile page. You know, I got my phone in hand. Like, page is private. <sighs> now, you know, I know everyone, you know, puts their page on private for whatever reason. You know, there's a slew of reasons why you could be private. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you know, when I'm trying to follow you, especially if you follow me first, you know what I'm saying, and you want me to follow back. I need to know what I'm getting into first before I hit that follow because if your page is extra wag, like, then I gotta unfollow you. Like, that looks mad crazy. So, but nah, so I'm looking at his Abby and I'm like, wait a minute, this look like this could be some potential, okay? I'm seeing this nice brown skin, chocolate looking brother, you know what I'm saying? And he had his shirt off in his Abby, so and when I say Abby, just in case for those who don't know, I'm talking about his profile picture. And I'm like, oh, he got his shirt off. And I'm like, wait, are those abs? Okay, let's let's hit that request button, okay? So I hit that, boom, I'm waiting for him to accept the re request. So, request comes back, he accepts. So I'm like, okay, let's go fishing. I'm looking, and I'm liking what I'm seeing, ladies. I was on here like... trying to be my baby father ain't you you were trying to be my baby father okay so I'm really liking what I'm seeing and he got a lot of um pictures with his shirt off so I'm like oh he got the abs and he didn't just have a six pack he had the eight pack the placa 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 plow I'm like wow but nothing really happens after that for the next couple of months we kind of just follow each other maybe like a picture here and there but that's about it and I kind of push it off to the side forgot about him because you know I'm thirst I don't do that over here because time keeps it all the way. Cool. But then one day, one glorious day, he started liking a bunch of my photos. Like, out of nowhere. He was, like, liking photos from, like, 84 weeks ago. I'm like, you trying to get my attention? Because you got it. <laughs> so I go on my phone. I'm like, oh, okay, we could do this. So now I'm going on his page, liking different photos or whatever, whatever. Let him know I'm here. I see you. I see you. I could return the favor. So we doing this whole like Instagram tagging, liking, whatever. 
So I'm like, when he gonna sign the DMs? If he gonna slide in or is he not? Like, what's up? And finally, he slides in the DMs. Gave him the number. So then a few days later, um, I was at work. Maybe it was like a Monday or Tuesday. I don't remember exact days. Oh, and this happened, I think two years ago. I don't think it happened last year. I think this happened in 2014. Anyway, so I'm at work and I just get to work and a message pops up. I get a text message from him. So we kind of cut to the chase. You know, we asked the, the beginning questions that you usually ask people. What's your real name? <laughs> okay, not your Instagram name. How old are you? Where you live? Where you work? Etc. Etc. So we started off with that. So then he asks me if I have kids, and I told him no, I don't have any. But I told him, I know that you have one because you always put him on your page. So he had a son. He always put his page on. He always put his son on his page, which I thought was dope. Okay, it was either pictures of him half naked or pictures of him and his son so I was just like I see you have a son you know it seems like you really love your son which is awesome he was like yeah that's my pride and joy I love him to death blah 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 I'm like that's cool yes I think I got a good one coming here yes thank you so then he proceeds to tell me how he's pretty much a single father raising him so you know naturally I asked where's the mother at and he was like she passed away so I'm like damn like you know, instant sadness tugging at my heart. And I'm just like, you know, I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry for your loss. Um, but I think it's very admirable that you stepped up and you really taking care of your son like you're supposed to. He's like, yeah, you know, I definitely wouldn't have it any other way. Um, I love my son and I can't wait to have a daughter. So I'm like, okay, cool. That's awesome. You want more kids? He's like, definitely. I definitely want a few more or whatever. What about you? And at that time, two years ago, I mean, I think I've always wanted kids, but there was a point in time where I was kind of questioning if they was for me um, because I love babies. Babies, obsessed, but kids, when they get to yapping and talking and talking back to you, and if they was like me with an attitude when I was a kid, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So I told him like, yeah, I mean, I think so. I'm not 100% sure. You know, I don't really know if they for me, but you know, maybe he was like, oh no, I definitely think kids is for you. I definitely think you'll be a great mother. So I'm like, oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I said maybe one day, one day, but definitely not on my radar right now. Like that would be much later. So he was like, nah, don't push that off. You definitely going to make a great mother. I already know. So I'm like, thank you. I mean, appreciate that I mean you don't really know me but cool cool so he proceeds to say um I know you're gonna be a great mother to our kids <laughs> huh what I didn't really know how to respond so I had to hit him with the lol you know when you throw out the lol you kind of just want to kind of stop the conversation or kind of change it up um you don't really know what to say so you just kind of throw lol out there although it's not really that funny but I think I said, LOL, you funny. And he was like, I'm dead serious. You would make a great mother to our kids. Like, I definitely could see you raising our daughter. Um, it would be so dope, blah, blah, blah. What are, what are you talking about? What, sir? You don't know me. I don't know you. You just got my number. We only had a conversation for the past, what? 10, 15 minutes and you're already talking about me raising your kid mm -mm. so my crazy radar was kind of like mm, you know kind of going around my head like hmm is this mofo a little crazy mm, I don't know I said you know what let me not trip too much maybe it's nothing maybe you know he just thought I would appreciate him saying that or you know maybe he looked at my Instagram and you know thinks that I have a good heart I don't know I'm not gonna read too much into that right so I was like, hey, you never know, maybe one day. I don't know. <laughs> like, one day, you never know what the future may hold. And I forgot what he said, but he must have said something else about the kids. And all I know is it kind of just freaked me out. And I was just like, all right, you know what? Um, cool, cool. Listen, I have a meeting to go to, so I'm going to have to hit you back a little later. I ain't had no meeting, but yeah, we're going to have to end this conversation because you. Mm. So he's like, oh, okay, you want to hit me when you get out the meeting? no no I do not <laughs> so then he was like okay what time you get off I'm like oh well I get off at five he's like all right well definitely hit me when you get off of work 
Yeah, okay. I'm gonna hit you right when I get off of work. Okay, sure, whatever. So I'm sitting at my desk like, hmm, I don't know. He's cute and all, but I'm hoping that this don't turn weird. We'll see. Fast forward to the evening and I get off of work and I go to my bus to go home. So now I think it's about like six something when I get on the bus. He texts me. He's like, oh, hey, what's up? So I'm like, oh, hey, what's going on? What's going on? He was like, what you up to? I'm like, oh, you know, I'm on the bus going home. He was like, oh, so you already got up for work? I'm like, yeah, I did. He's like, oh, so why you ain't hit me? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What? I was like, um, it must have slipped my mind. You know, I'm, I'm kind of rushing to go home or whatever. So my bad, like... Now you questioning why they hit you exactly at five o'clock when I got off? No, 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 I'm, I'm not getting a good one from this. I'm not getting a good vibe. So he's like, oh, all right, well, um, don't let it happen again. Who the, who are you talking to? I said, all right, time, you know what? Let's, let's just move past this, right? So he's like, well, what you doing later? So I told him I was going out. I remember I was going out with my friends, and he's like, oh, okay, where you going? Who you going out with? Blah, blah, blah. No. No. Not questioning me. Who are you? You're not my man. You don't get to ask me all them questions. He was asking me, like, back to back. It's one thing if you could kind of just naturally curious, but I was getting the vibe that he was, like, really, like, well, who you going with? Oh, uh, where you going? What time are you coming back? Like, that's the vibe I was getting. I'm like, mm -mm. I'm an independent single woman. I can do whatever the hell I want, okay? You're not going to be questioning me like you my man. Mm -mm. So I was like, um, I'm just going out with some friends, whatever. We could probably going to go out to some club, whatever. Now, mind you, I forgot to tell y'all, this man lived in another state. I don't remember where he lived. I want to say he lived in, like, Atlanta or something. I don't remember, but... He's here. I'm here in New York. Whatever. So, ain't no point in me telling you where I'm going because you don't know these spots. So, what you asking for? Anyway. So, I was like, yeah, I'm going out with some friends or whatever. And I was like, listen, I'm about to get off the bus. Although I wasn't. <laughs> I said, like, I'm about to get off the bus. I'll hit you a little later. I'll hit you tomorrow or something. He's like, oh, why are you trying to end the conversation early? I said, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, get off the bus. I'm about to be home soon. I want to, you know, start getting ready. I'm going to be rushing and stuff. I don't really have time to chit chat, but I'll hit you tomorrow. He was like, oh, you know, why don't you hit me when you get out the club? Ooh. Let me take my camera. Gosh. So, yeah, like I was saying. So then he was like, well, why don't you hit me when you get out the club? No. <laughs> so I was like, you yeah, know, I'm cool. It's probably going to be late, you know. You probably gonna be sleep, so no worries. He's like, nah, I'll be up. Just hit me up. I'm like, no, it's gonna be late, so I'll hit you the next day. No worries. Like, he was just like, all right, cool. Well, make sure you hit me when you wake up. So I think at this point I was kind of like over it. I was like, yeah. I think I have somebody who's a little bit of a control freak, and. He seems like he's going to be an issue. So this might have to be nipped in the butt. But I'm like, you know what? At the same time, I'm like, all right, maybe I shouldn't officially dead it yet because, you know, I have been single for a while. You know, I'm, I'm kind of rusty to the dating scene. So I don't really know, you know, maybe he's just overly attentive, you know, and, um, you know, I mean, I want a guy who shows me attention. But I felt like it was just a little bit too much. I felt like he was going to be a little bit too smothering. And I don't, I don't know. He must have gotten an attitude, whatever. I don't know. So homie didn't hit me for like the next three days. I'm over here like. So everything's Gucci on my end. I'm like, okay, maybe he's done with me. Cool. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. So then I think he hits me on like a Friday. And we talking for a little bit. I don't really remember that conversation. Like, I don't remember. So it was nothing memorable. So then the next day, Saturday, now this day, I remember. Because this is when this mofo don't lost his goddamn mind, okay? So I get up, and I'm going to the supermarket. So I go outside, you know, my little shopping cart, walking down the block. So he hits my phone. 
and via text let me emphasize that okay because this man never called me yeah via text and so we exchanged in texas for a couple of minutes he goes on to tell me that he can see himself falling in love with me and that he wants me to be his girlfriend what now keep in mind i need you to remember we only been talking for like a week a whole week and actually not even a whole week there was like three days in between that we ain't talk the conversation has been via text okay this man ain't never seen me he don't know my voice i ain't never seen him he don't know if i could be a catfish he could be a catfish he don't know me but yet you falling in love with me man get the f out of here no now i think i'm a pretty good catch you know no cockiness but i don't think i have the ability to make a man fall in love with me via text in a matter of a couple of days like i come on so i didn't say nothing because <laughs> i didn't know what to say he hits me back again like so like not gonna respond like i really think we should be together so I'm like, all right, we're going to have to this in the butt because, nah, this is not going to work for me. So I was like, um, yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Um, you know, I think we're trying to get to know each other. I mean, to be honest, we've never even seen each other. We not, we didn't go on a one date. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to get to know you. I'm trying to get to know you as a friend. And, uh, yeah. So he's like, I think I know you pretty well. I know this is fast or whatever, but I know what I want and I know I want you and I know you could be the woman for me. And so I had to tell him again. I said, listen, I'm not looking for a relationship. Okay. I'm just looking for some new friends. All right. Um, you seem like a cool guy. I want to just kind of get to know you as a friend. Um, plus, you know, you live in a whole nother city. Like, how is that even going to work, right? Not that I really care because that's besides the point. But let me tell you what this man said. Oh, that's all right. Me and my son could come up there and stay with you. Yo. This man lost his mind. How you inviting yourself not even yourself. You inviting you and your son, not my son, your son, to my house. Houseway. What planet you living on? Hmm? What planet? What planet are you from? Because obviously it's not this one. Hmm? Hmm? I was like, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. I said, but wait a minute. What about your job? Because now I'm curious. What about your job? He's like, oh, I can find another job when I'm up there. So then you must not really have a job. I forgot what he told me he does. I think it was like construction or something. I don't know. You like Tommy. You ain't got no job, man. Cut it out. I'm like, you know what? You know, that's not going to work. Listen, you know, like I said, you seem like a cool guy. But if we can't be friends, then nah. Because like I told you, I'm not looking for a real relationship. I'm just dating, meeting new people. I'm just trying to keep it cool. That's what I said. I didn't even get crazy. All right, so now this is the part where I told you it's going to be a couple of curse words. Yeah. Just, yeah. If you got kids watching, cover their ears. Okay. The next text that came into my phone stopped me dead in my tracks again. Because by this point, I had went to the supermarket, came back out. I'm walking back up the block. I wish I would have screenshotted it, but I didn't. But <laughs> this man proceeds to go off of me. He was like, you see, that's what's wrong with you fucking bitches. Um, Y'all always want to be fucking thoughts out here. Blah, blah, blah. When man trying to take care of you and let you know that he's a real one. You'd rather be out here thotting and bopping. And, um, yeah, pretty much call me all type of hoes and bees. And um, that's what's wrong with you black women. Mm -hmm. He threw that in there. And, um... I'm trying to remember all that he said. I don't, re I don't remember it verbatim, but I remember all the bees and hoes. And, um, yeah, instead of trying to get you a real man, you'd rather be out here fucking random niggas and 
all type of stuff. Like it was this long message. So imagine me walking with my chopper car. Like, <laughs> Oh fuck no. So I stopped mid block. Now my, my house was like two blocks further up. Right across the street where I was is the park. I said, mm-mm. Let's go to the park and sit down and park it because this motherfucker got me fucked up. I pick up my phone. I don't know who he thought he was talking to. This nigga got me fucked up. So of course your man doesn't answer, right? So now I'm like, all right, let me get my thumbs ready because perfect. So I'm going off. So I said something along the lines of, first of all, I don't know who the fuck you talking to, but it ain't me. Number two, you will refrain from calling me any type of bitches and hoes because I'm neither. Number three, you got me all the way fucked up. Number four, you're insane. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you're really insane. Okay? I don't know what's wrong with you, but you need to get help. Seriously. Honestly, truly. Okay, I didn't say that part, but. I told him that he needed to get help because he has major issues. Like, something is truly wrong with you. Okay? And I said, you know what? Just to add some salt on this wound right here, let me explain something to you. Although I don't have to, because I'm a grown woman and I can do whatever the fuck I want to, okay? I can date whoever I want. I'm a single woman living life. I have the ability to do whatever I want at any time with anyone without anyone telling me I'm doing it wrong, okay? But if you must know, <laughs> since you're looking for this type of woman, I'm actually the type of woman that you would be looking for because I'm actually not out here dying and popping. I'm not doing none of that. Actually, I've been celibate for quite a few years now. Yeah. I'm not out here for nobody. This box been closed. This box has been lock and key in a dungeon, okay? Nobody has touched this. That's not what I'm doing. I said I wanted to meet new people, new friends, friends, no friends with benefits. I'm not doing none of that actually. So whatever women you've dealt with in the past, I'm none of them. So don't ever put me in that category again. And lastly, um, just in case you didn't know, lose my fucking number, okay? Lose it. Don't ever use it again. Because if you do, don't think motherfuckers can hop on a plane out to Atlanta and fuck you up. Poop. I was just like, wow. Wow, a man that fine should not be that insane. But you know what, crazy don't discriminate, okay? Crazy comes in all shapes, size, and forms, okay? So, yeah. And he wrote back whatever. He ain't even had nothing to say. He ain't have nothing to say. He knew better, he knew better. I was like, okay, let me make sure I get this man out of my life completely. I go on Instagram to make sure I block him. This fool already had me blocked. Sir, don't nobody want to follow you. Ill, ill. Why are you blocking me? Like, you're the crazy one. I said, you know what? He probably thought I was going to be extra petty and put his ass on blast. But I don't do that. That's not how I roll. I mean, although I might have gone on like one picture and be like, ladies, beware. But you know what? Whatever. I said, cool. Let's get him out of here. Later on that evening, he calls me. I said, oh, hell no. Nah. I answer and then he texts me talking about my bad can we still be friends there's your friend huh this one too take both of those so yeah luckily for me he didn't hit me back he must have knew I'm not the one I am not the one and I think the Lord that he showed me this man's true colors okay I think the Lord because who knows, I could have been getting in deep with this man, flying out to see him, who knows? Mm, 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 mm. So ladies and gents, be careful who you meet on social media. Be careful, cause people is crazy. Be crazy. 
but yeah so that's it for my story time let me know what you guys think if you enjoyed this hit that thumbs up button okay um yeah let me know if y'all want to see any more story times i don't really know how many more i got you know i don't think my life is that popping but y'all may have one or two more stories up my sleeve so you know and i definitely don't want to be out here lying <laughs> so yeah um but yeah let me know in the comments below if you're new here i would love to have you please hit that subscribe button to my day ones you already know okay follow me on social media i'm on instagram if you're a guy proceed cautiously slide it into the dms okay some of y'all i gotta start weeding some of y'all because mm -mm. um but yeah you know hit me on instagram snapchat definitely on your live twitter or whatever whatever i'm on pretty much everything so I'll leave that all down below. And yeah, until my next video, I hope you guys stay beautiful, stay blessed. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.